Hello everyone, welcome back to BeamNG. Today we are going to be checking out a CBT mod. That's a transmission, the continuously variable transmission uh, mod that affects most vehicles in the game, including uh, modded vehicles as well. I don't know about uh, modded vehicles that don't use the base game stuff. I haven't uh, experimented too much. So your mileage may vary on that. But yes, we now have a continuously variable transmission. And uh, if you don't know, a continuously variable transmission does not have a shift like a normal automatic transmission. As you can see, our RPMs will, well, if you weren't crazy and just kept flooring it, your RPMs would, uh, they're, they're not gonna shift like an automatic where they go up and down, they're pretty stable. I have one in my car, as a matter of fact, and most of the time it's between 1,500 and 2,000 RPMs while I'm driving around. I mean, while you're gassing it'll heavily, it'll go up to three, four, maybe even 5,000, but it doesn't, uh, but it wants to get back down real quick to uh, that, like, sweet range that it likes. It's not perfect here, but uh, you can tell it's not shifting. The, the transmission, it has no shift in the gears, like the vroom, vroom like you'd normally have. Like you hear it in a manual, it needs the shift. The automatic would do it automatically, but the CVT, it just, it always tries to find the most efficient gear ratio for, uh, usually for fuel efficiency, but I suppose you could uh, set one up to provide the most power. Not sure uh, which way the BMNG one in this mod is, probably for power I'd imagine, maybe not. But it's pretty cool. It's, uh, it has a little bit of a lag though, it's not a, perfect CVT by any stretch, but I do believe there's only one vehicle, the Hirochi Sunburst, that has a CVT in the game. I could be wrong on that. And, uh, I was just messing around the other day, and I noticed that, uh, if your fuel tank, if, if your car's on fire, God, be on fire. I ruptured the fuel tank. How is this car not starting on fire? It's just trying to make me look bad. Yeah, if you just let the car be on fire, the wheels will actually pop after enough time. Interestingly enough, I I actually had to test that a couple times with several different vehicles, and it happened. The wheels will blow out from overheating, which I think is pretty cool. I did not realize that was like a feature in the game. So we're just gonna cruise around a little bit, put some more heat in the tires. Not that we're trying to uh, manipulate them in any way, which we're not. We're just using the regular stock tires. But the pressure should be building as the heat's growing on them, I would imagine. I mean, the back tires will pop, and the front tires eventually will too as the fire spreads throughout the car. Doesn't seem to damage any other part in the car yet though. Uh, the brakes are not affected. I still wish they would uh, fix the fuel tank thing where my fuel tank's ruptured and on fire yet. I gas tank still looks to be like 95, 8, 95 or 98 percent full. Yeah, the, so I, I know the game's still in early uh, development, early access, I guess you could say. So, you know, it's just something I want them to improve on in the future. And the BMNG team is doing a remarkable job with the game. I mean, they've been fixing performance, they've been adding new vehicles, they added a campaign, a couple of achievements now. They're definitely working in the right direction here. Alright, tires. They're going to pop and scare me when they do, because I'm not going to be expecting it. Alright, so we're just going to chill with the parking brake on. And we are just going to wait for our bombs. That we there we go. Our wheels blew. Eventually the front wheels will also blow as well. It, it's just it's just like a little feature in the game I didn't know it had. I've tested it with a couple different vehicles. I think I used the Roji Sunburst. I tested it with or without the CVT. To see if that had anything to do with it. And it doesn't. Man, do I feel like that fire is really loud. Alright, front tire. Is he gonna blow? They'll blow eventually. Uh, we're also going to check out a modded map today, which will be the, uh, it will be 
a uh, updated cliff. The cliff. It'll be an updated version of the cliff map. Uh, cliff Drive, I think it might be called. Uh, cliff Roads. Yes. It's pretty intense, if you ask me. All right, we're just seeing if we can uh, get these wheels to pop here. Uh, I don't know. Well, tell us the pressure in the tires right now. Well, not tell us the, hype, the pressure in the tires right now, but, uh... We saw that the tires popped, so... Alright, that is getting... Oh, there we go. There we go. So, all the tires are now popped. So that worked. It's it, it literally just like blows a hole in them and lets the air out. Because they actually still have the rubber on the tires. It's not like you tugged on them. And like, yeah, it's not like you shredded the tire. Like, you can obviously tell with the shredded tire that it's, uh... Oh, that looks like a pretty beat up NASCAR tire, if you ask me. See, this one, it's not damaged, really. It still has all the rubber on it, as it should. But uh, this one over here, where I just shredded it just a second ago, you can tell that tire's been shredded. That is like a, a very bad NASCAR tire right there. Where uh, you were lucky to make it to pit road, if that happened to you. Where this one is the kind of flight you hope to have, that you could fix. Maybe not with uh, what we did there, but... Uh, yeah, so, on to the other map. So this is the Cliff Drives. Did I say that right? Cliff Drives? Why do I feel like I'm saying that wrong? No, Cliff Roads, okay. Uh, made by Ruzu. Uh, as always, I will put the link in the description. It has six different spawn points. Uh, as he says in the description, it's just a, uh, he gives credit to BeamNG for this. It's just a, uh, it's just a modded version of the uh, Cliff map that you know is in the vanilla game. Instead of falling off, it has been it's been worked on a little bit here. So uh, let's check this uh, map out a little bit. I mean, there's the big cliff up there, but uh, yeah, there's roads all around it. You could uh, use the water. Don't get stuck in the sand. That's that's a little rough. There's like little potholes here and there on the roads. So you gotta be careful. It really kind of feels like you're driving, you know, along along the uh, ocean. Maybe along the, the coast of California. Maybe not quite, though. This really is not a highway here. Yeah, it is a huge map. I mean, it is the full size of the cliff map, I believe. And if you want, you can always take a swim under the water, although not advisable for internal combustion engines if you don't want them to hydrolock. But uh, your mileage may vary in uh, that. Maybe you could find a scuba car. Maybe that'll become a thing. Alright, so let's go explore something off the road. This car should be able to handle this. I mean, I think this uh, Ruzu here has done a mighty fine job with this map. Adding all sorts of cool stuff. It definitely uh, makes the map a little more useful than it used to be. It used to literally just have no purpose besides throwing a vehicle down a cliff and watching it implode but for me I always prefer prefer more like uh, collisions where you hit a stationary object you know like a like on the grid map where you hit like you know one of the jumps that are uh, out or you clip another car or something it's never really been uh, enjoyable for me to watch the vehicle fly down the cliffside half the time it gets stuck in some way Oh, so there's some more trails going off, but uh, it looks the steepest going this way, so we will continue to explore that. Good thing we're here, we're driving a uh, luxury car with a V6. I'm sure we're uh, bottoming the front out quite a bit. Don't advise doing this with, a, uh, with your car, unless you want to take potential damage here. Probably need a tire calibration after all these jumps. Wheel alignment, not tire calibration. But that's just uh, my opinion on the matter. But uh, let's see if we can get to the top here where you would uh, normally be on the cliff map. You know, he's done a beautiful job making the uh, 
making the mountain here feel alive. This is this is a really nice island. You know, if BeamNG ever adds uh, support for like little uh, animals or something, it'd be kind of cool to see like a you know a fox or a rabbit run across the road or something. You know, it just kind of seems like the kind of thing that should uh, it just feel natural if it was here. Maybe see a couple birds flying in the sky, or a falcon or an eagle going down for a, you know a mouse or a, a rabbit or something. I don't know, it does, it does make the game a little bit more immersive. I know, it's an early development, I said that earlier. But they are doing a mighty fine job so far. I am doing a mighty fine job not wrecking this car here. I'm sure the car hates me. Our oil temperature is steadily rising. The crazy thing is the thing's still in arcade mode, I haven't had to put it into manual. Or to uh, realistic shifting. Which, how you could realistically shift an automatic is beyond me, but, uh... Oh well. The car does come in a manual version too, but I picked the automatic for whatever reason. Yeah, you just gotta be careful going up and down these winding roads. And it's actually kind of funny, coming down these roads, you can actually, uh... If you put the car in realistic shifting, leave it in first, and you'll actually start engine braking. It's kind of annoying, because of the low RPMs, but, uh... I don't know, it's kind of cool to do. There's not really many maps in the normal BMNG where you can do a lot of engine braking down the hill if you're into that kind of thing. And we are at the top. It is a little outpost-like thing. Maybe that's uh, someone's house there? This is probably like a visitor center. Oh, good, good thing. That's handicap accessible, of course. Maybe that's another little house, maybe a ranger station or something. So yeah, I mean, this map is huge. Let's not fall off. Ooh, I, I thought we were done for there for a second. Let's take a few other uh, looks around, scenic places here. All right, now we're stuck. Oh, there we go. Seriously, how in the world did the windshield crack? Okay, so we're stuck now. But I mean, it still has shares the uh, same thing, so let's just toss off the side here for the fun of it. I mean, it still is the cliff map. It's just been changed a lot. And I think it's been changed a lot for the better. This was one of the original maps for the game, just to kind of showcase it. So, I know if they've gone back and updated some of the maps. Or, or uh, they've uh, said they plan on working on them, the uh, BeamNG developers. So, I know this was an original one. I don't hold it against them or anything. And the game's still a work in progress. It's early access, early development. It's still an alpha, as far as I know. Ah, oh, well, our vehicle didn't get stuck this time. That's always an improvement. Are we gonna hit that tree? Oh, man, that was close. Are we going to take the car for a swim? We might be. Are we going to hit that rock? Close. We were close. Unfortunately, we broke the front axles. Our wheels spin incredibly now. Kind of like how the car in the... Uh, the family in the uh, National Lampoon's Family Vacation after the uh, those people in the, the desert uh, fix their vehicle and their wheels are all wobbly when they're leaving. Ah, uh, good times watching that movie. Alright guys, I hope you guys check out this map and play it for yourself. It is a wonderfully done map. Uh, check out the CVT mod while you're at it, although it is not advisable to use CVTs on this map. As you definitely in most vehicles want a little bit more control over your uh, transmission. You don't want the game to try sticking you in arcade because you will stall out. You will start driving back down the hill. Unless you're driving a big truck or something. Or a, very, or a uh, sports car. Apparently uh, sports cars can drive up very steep inclines. 
Alright guys, I hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to please rate, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, as always, I hope to see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching.